The next morning before the day broke. Dear sister, if you're not asleep, will you please tell me what happened to Aladdin and the magic lamp? Magician's magical square box revealed to him that Aladdin had become immensely rich and had married the Sultan's daughter. Without any delay, he arose and equipped himself for the journey to China. In Sultan's capital, magician heard of people praising Aladdin's generosity, fine manners and good morals. Young man, who is this person you have been praising about? Since you are a stranger, you might have not known about the most famous Aladdin and his palace. It would be my greatest wish to see his palace. In fact, I would be very much obliged if you could show it to me. The young man guided him to the palace and departed. When the magician saw the palace, he realized at once that it was the work of the lamp. Aha! I will destroy him and send his mother back to that spinning wheel. He took the form of a seller and began wandering through the streets and markets. Ho oh, ho there! Who will exchange old lambs for new ones? He's surely mad. Who would offer new lambs for old ones? Ho oh, ho there! Who will exchange old lambs for new ones? Ho oh, ho there! Who will exchange old lambs for new ones? Madam, I think I noticed an old lamp in the apartment of my lord Aladdin. So, why don't we take it down to the old man and see if he is telling the truth? Maiden, take the old lamp and exchange that with the new one. Servant went to the magician and exchanged the old lamp for a new one. However, as soon as the magician held the lamp, he went out of the city and rubbed it. Immediately, the genie appeared. <laughs> I am at your service. Ask whatever you want. I want you to lift up Aladdin's palace with the princess and transport it along with me to my place. As you request, my lord. <sighs> Within a split second, Genie disappeared, so as the Aladdin's palace and the magician. The city was shocked that the grand Aladdin palace is disappeared with the princess. The Sultan was furious about his son-in-law and feared what might have happened to his daughter. Where is Aladdin? Where is Aladdin? Where has he gone? He has gone hunting. Send the chief soldiers to find Aladdin and bring him back in chains. So the soldiers went in search of him. And when they found him... My lord, please pardon us and don't be angry with us. The king has commanded that we take you back to him in chains. Those with royal orders. Do you know why the king is doing this? My lord, we have no idea whatsoever why the king has issued such an order. Do whatever the king ordered you to do, for you are obliged to carry out his commands. Once, Aladdin was sent into the palace.
where is your pavilion and where is my daughter, the darling of my heart, my only child? Your Majesty, I don't know anything about it, nor do I know what happened. Then you better find out. I have pardoned you only so that you can look into this affair and find out what has happened to my daughter. If not, I swear that I will cut off your head. As you command, my only request is that you grant me 40 days to do this. If I don't produce her within 40 days, then you can cut off my head and do with me whatever you wish. I shall grant you a delay of 40 days, but don't ever think that you can escape me. Aladdin wandered everywhere searching for clues, but he couldn't find any. He left the city and drifted aimlessly about the fields. As he walked, he came upon a path that led him to a river. At your service, your servant has come. Ask me whatever you want. Genie, I want you to bring back my wife and palace and everything that was inside it. My lord, you are demanding a service of me that is impossible for me to perform. Only slave of the lamp can do this. Well, since the matter is beyond your power, but at least transport me to my palace wherever it is. As you command, my lord. Genie and Aladdin disappeared and appeared in <laughs> Africa near Aladdin's palace. <laughs> Aladdin sitting before the walls of the palace plotting a plan to rescue his wife. One of the princess maiden caught sight of Aladdin. My lady, my lady, my lord Aladdin is sitting at the foot of the wall. Come up to me through the secret door. She gave orders to the maiden to open the door for him. <gasps> Once Aladdin entered, he was met by his wife. My lady, I must ask you a question. I used to keep an old copper lamp in my apartment. Could you tell me what happened to it? Oh my darling, it was that very lamp which caused this tragedy. How did it happen? She explained everything and how she exchanged the old lamp for a new one. What does this wretched criminal intend to do with you? What has he said to you? What does he want from you? Every day, he comes to visit me just once. He's been forcing me and wants me to forget you. In fact, he insists on replacing you and wants me to marry him. My lady, listen to me now. I want you to get dressed in your very best garments and cast all show of sadness. When the magician comes to visit you, you're to welcome him and greet him with a smiling face and invite him to dine with you. At one point, you're to ask for some juice and drop this powder into his cup and fill it with juice. As soon as he drinks it, he'll faint and fall down. It will be very difficult for me to do all this. However, I know I must do it if we are to escape this magician. My darling, if you are willing, 
I could like you to come and dine with me tonight. I'd particularly like to taste some of your African juice, since I've heard that it is much better than that in China. Your wish is my command, my lady. I'll go now and fetch whatever we shall need and return as soon as possible. After a short time, magician returned with the juices. The princess and magician sat down at the table and began eating. So, the princess requested for juices and servants filled her cup and then magician. When they came to end of the dinner, there is a custom in my country, but I don't know whether you do the same thing in yours. What is it? At the end of dinner, each lover takes the cup of the other beloved and drinks it. The magician accepted her request and drank some of his juice. As they were enjoying their juices, princess poured hers with the drug without the knowledge of the magician. Magician exchanged his cup with the princess and drank the contents down. And immediately thereafter, he rolled over on his back. What's happening? My lady. Aladdin approached princess once he got the information from the servant. Please withdraw with your maidens to the inner chamber and leave me alone for a while so that I may think about what I have to do. Aladdin drew the lamp from his pocket. After doing this, he unsheathed his sword and slew the villain. Then he rubbed the lamp and immediately the genie appeared. At your service, my lord. What is it you want? I want you to take my palace and transport it to China and you are to set it down on the spot where it was standing before. As you request, my lord. to see the palace on its own place. He could not resist himself to see his daughter so he came to the palace. Wow! This is the most enchanting story I've heard, sister. It's nothing compared to what I could tell you of the remarkable tale of Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. If the king would spare my life and let me live, I will wait till tomorrow. I can always have her killed after I hear the end of her story. From that day on, night after night, Shahrazad kept telling her stories which fascinated the Sultan. The morals of her stories changed the Sultan from a bad human being into a good king. Shahrazad and Dinizad lived happily ever after. On, little bunnies give thumbs up for the video share with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos